Thank you, everyone, for having us. Am I all right here with the mic? Um, so I'm Tasha, and I am from Preston in Lancashire, little city in Lancashire. Um, so we're from Strive to Thrive, and we are a community interest company. So predominantly, we work with young people who are 11 to 30. And the reason that we go up to 30, which often surprises people, is after 25, which most programmes are, we all still have ambitions, and we also need to access really good quality opportunities. So that's the reason we go to 30. Um, we predominantly work with young people who are considered the most at risk. So young people from the most deprived areas, young people who are experiencing criminal exploitation, who are displaced from home and have been recognised by the local authority as the most at risk. Whether that's the extremes and we're looking at court cases and young people who are already under yacht or the ones that we just have flagged and we're slightly worried about. Um, so being part of the culture exchange, the biggest thing for me at the beginning was as someone who's been in the community world for a long time, um, I was thrust into it all when I was about 13, volunteering, doing kids swimming lessons, which at the time you all hate. But it's like, this is my night after school, but then you end up doing kids swimming lessons. You take them on trips in the holidays. You do all of that. So I've been part of that world since I was about 13, 14. The biggest thing is being part of a project that actually says what it does, what people are selling to you. And I think this programme has been really unique in that sense. So Shamuna's just talked about the collaboration. We've had that from the get-go. And I think it's really important to ham down to people that it only works if you do that. So from the moment we got together and we were all talking about the different sessions, the flexibility of the programme, the way that the young people like Jade and others have been able to influence what we talk about um, has been massive. And also gives them young people then the thought that when the next programme comes up, they might have never even considered another programme before. But now, they think, actually, I might go in. It might not be everything I want, but I'll be able to persuade people. I'll be able to negotiate. I'll be able to get little bits from it. And that's what it's about. It's about giving them that type of confidence. So I've had four young people. And at the beginning of the program, they pretty much all said the same thing. I want to build confidence. I want to be able to speak in front of people. I want to explore job opportunities outside of Preston. Now we've got four young people who were talking about their own social enterprises talking about their own businesses. They never even talked about that at the beginning. They weren't interested. And everyone who has met my four young people will tell you that. They had no interest in running their own business. But now, they've been given the opportunity. They've seen and had conversations with other people that are not just me, telling them that they're capable of it, that there's options. And that's why collaboration across the country is massive, and I'm a big believer in it. We've all got together on these sessions, and from Birmingham to Stratford to us in Preston, we're all talking about the same thing. We're all facing the same issues. We're just facing it in different ways at different times. But by working together, we've now got a bunch of young people who will be confident to go and challenge people. They'll be confident to work together on their own um, social enterprises. So that's the biggest takeaway from me, for me. Um, and for myself on a personal level, I think working with other partners who are like-minded is massive. You often in the community world feel like you're the only one trying to get things done. Oh long nails, sorry. Um, you often feel like you're the only one championing things, the only one challenging things. You've got your head banging against the wall and you think, maybe I'm going mad. Maybe there's not an issue here. So actually working with all these partners who are all facing the same issue, championing the same things, has been massive for me as someone who's 30 and just, you know, just deciding now what I'm going to do in my future. So big shout out to Social Art, Lisa, Moses, Tiwa, Zach, everyone who's been a part of it. Um, yeah, it's been amazing, guys. Thank you.